This video is created for version 2.0 install smart POS. And in this video, I'll be talking about the Boost Mobile Activation Integration feature in Smart POS. Activating a Boost Mobile phone just became easier with the Boost Mobile Activation Integration feature in Smart POS. You can activate a Boost Mobile phone directly through the software without having to sign into any web portal using a web browser. This is similar to the ePay Integration Payment feature where you can directly make payments through the software. To integrate this feature in Smart POS, you may click on the Settings tab then on admin tools and then click on the boost mobile upgrade eligibility setup option here you will be asked to enter your credentials so you may enter your username and password and once you're done you may go ahead and click save and now let's go ahead and sell a phone to see how this feature works so let's select the phone from our inventory by clicking on the inventory boost mobile and let's select the phone from here and click the shopping cart to bring it to the invoice and you'll be presented with the sale type window this is a new window in version 2.0 and it allows you to select which activation you're doing if you were to do a new activation you will select new activation and you may enter the name of the customer their address and other details and if you were to do a port in you will select port in and you may enter the customer's information in addition to the port in number which is the number you're taking from the old service provider to the new service provider which is boost mobile in this case so you may enter the old phone number and the old pin number and in the account number field you may enter any account number you may have when you're going from let's say t-mobile to boost mobile so you would enter your t-mobile account number and if you were to do an upgrade you would just select upgrade or if you are selling a phone, you would select just the phone and you are not required to enter any details when you're doing an upgrade or you're just selling the phone. So let's go ahead and select new activation as our activation type and let's enter the customer's information. And let's go ahead and click save. And now that the phone is in the invoice, we can add any other products to the invoice. So let's say we want to add another case to this invoice. So we select this case and add it to the invoice. And let's click on checkout. Click save. And now that the transaction is complete, a pending activation button will show up on the main dashboard notifying you that there are pending activations to be marked complete in the software. So you may click on the button to view all the pending activations. If the activation is not under Boost Mobile, you would simply enter the phone number and click on Already Done to mark it complete. However, if it's a Boost Mobile activation, you would click on the Boost Activation button. So let's click on the Boost Activation button and it will lead us to the Boost portal directly without having you to sign in. And on the left hand side, you'll be presented with the customer's information that you entered and in addition to the phone information and activation type. From here, you may click on activate, Boost activation. And once you're here, you usually have to enter the IMEI number of the phone. However, with the Boost upgrade feature, the IMEI number of the phone is already entered in the field similar to the ePay integration process and the software automatically pasted it in the field as well. So let's click the check button to proceed with our activation and as you can see the zip code is already entered so let's click continue and this is asking for the customer area code selection so let's go ahead and click next and as we entered this information in the software it is already pasted in the boost activation window. However, if we didn't enter the information while activating the phone in the software, we would have to enter all the information in the boost portal website. So let's go ahead and create a pin. And click next. 
confirm the customer's address. So let's go ahead and select the plan we want to activate this phone under. So let's select this $30 unlimited plan and click next. And as you can see, the plan name is saved in the software. So next we will click on activate to activate this phone. And now if you take a look at the software, you will see that all the information is saved. And if the customer has paid for their activation, you may proceed with the activation by clicking on the mark it done button. Here you have the customer's address, the product information, and the plan information. And so once you receive the payment from the customer, you may go ahead and complete the activation by clicking on the mark it done button. And it will generate two receipts. One would be a general activation receipt, and the other one would be a receipt containing the plan information the customer chose for activation. As we clicked on Mark It Done, the activation has been marked complete. And to see that the activation has been confirmed, you may generate a report by clicking on the Reports tab, and then Reports, and then clicking on the List category, and clicking on the Boost Activation List report and clicking on create report and the activation you recently made would be the first one appearing in the report and as you can see here is the activation we just made with a $30 unlimited plan other POS softwares have this feature set up in a way where the activation is done prior to the money received from the customer which is not ideal and the purpose behind SellSmart way of activating the phone first and then receiving the money from the customer is due to the feedback that we have received from our clients, stating that generally money is received first from the customer prior to the activation, so that once we have received the money, we can go ahead and activate the phone. And this is how a Boost Mobile activation integration is done in SellSmart POS.